Well, there he is, the little champion, ready for the toughest fight of his career. And Ron Casey, we've uh, seen both bo boxes stripped while the national anthem was on, and uh, he's a very compact-looking customer, with the Collegius. And Bill Morty, classic promotions. The roof will come off here. In their initial venture, the Central Line International Encounter, scheduled for 12 three minute rounds for the vacant World Boxing Council Featherweight Championship of the World between from the red corner, scaling. 57.15 kilograms from San Juan, Puerto Rico, three times his country's national amateur champion. He represented internationally on numerous occasions. As a professional, he has boxed 24 times, been successful on 23 occasions, 20 times by knockout, 18 inside four rounds. In May of 1984, he became the World Boxing Association World Super Bantamweight Champion, Vibrant Virtuoso of exquisite potency, thundering how lonely must it be for him, Ron Casey? It must be a difficult job to come to Australia to meet a guy that's a living legend, Jeff Fennick. from Sydney, Australia. Captain of the boxing team representing this country at the Los Angeles Olympic Games, current ruler of the national featherweight domain, vacated International Boxing Federation bantamweight championship, also the World Boxing Council super bantamweight title. 19 times he has boxed a professional, being victorious on each occasion. 16 inside the prescribed distance. Indomitable fortress of cataclysmic Yui, confronting history. Yes, Fred. Career. 15 years, he has officiated a 43 World Championships from Las Vegas, the United States of America, Richard Steele. Now we come to the Rinsai drama of Jones the evening. From Tijuana, Mexico, Raymond Salas. From Milan, Italy, Giuseppe Ferrari. From New York, the United States of America, Harold Letterman. Well, one of the judges, Giuseppe Ferrari, Council. sitting right next to Ron Casey at ringside. You sleep at both people and he's uh, scoring, Case. I'll try, Peter. Now we come to the dra dramatic part of the evening. Look at that capacity house on the screen now at the Entertainment Center. The danger for Fennec is the opening round. That is the consensus of international boxing opinion and the boxing uh, judges that I've spoken to today after the weigh-in. They say that if Fennec can get through the first four rounds, his chances of winning are extremely good. They say that without even seeing Fennec. But such a dynamite puncher as Kalaja, he is the big danger in especially the opening round. Now, yeah. folks, you're coming up to a very dramatic three rounds. Here comes the bell. Here's the bell, and... Uh... Pelagius from San Juan in Puerto Rico, where you have to be tough just to survive. And the left is the punch that uh, Pelagius has had a lot of 
much success with. It's the punch that uh, really put away Laura Stecker, took him out of their World Championship bout in the sixth round. That punch from Casey actually got Stecker off the ground, off the canvas. Bogey's doing two places on the way down. The thing that I've noticed already and I, I have seen in uh, Pelagius' uh, videotapes is that he's more of a round arm puncher. Fennig is the straighter puncher in the two. Aha, a left hook, and that's, that one shoots Fennig up just a little bit. But he comes back, Pelagius does with another left hook. Fennig's back against the rope, that, that stunned Fennig a little. Yeah, it certainly did. It's yeah. giving a lot of respect. Yeah, certainly, and uh, Pelagius, a tough customer, I think we're Oh, and look at the look in Fennig's eyes. Fennig is fighting mad. That left hook certainly shook him up. Don't be deluded. Yeah, you can always see the eye of the tiger in Jeff Fennick, but he's in against the customer tonight that uh, uh, that is a real tough customer. He looks like a panther waiting to strike, and that left is the punch. See the way Fennick's coming that right up very high, higher than usual. No goals landed, obviously. No, not a punch that ended there, and very cool, Victor Collegius. That set him back a little bit, Jeff. Obviously, uh, wanting to assume control early in the fight, as he always does. He loves to take the fight up. And uh, now the referee just warns him about coming in uh, too powerfully there with his legs, also with his arms. And he's still taking the fight up to Collegius. And that's the beauty of Fennec. He never gives them a moment's peace. But uh, this fellow can fight. We've already seen that. Well, good left hook by Fennec. Pelagius is a fighter, though. He wants to uh, he wants just trade to. punches in close there with Fennec, and in close is where he can do a lot of damage. <laughs> it can never be a rest for Jeff in these early rounds, Ron. He can't drop those both. Oh, right. Right. Even though he had his back to the ropes, so the fair left of the duel for him. And there's no respite for Victor Collegius. And uh, we're coming up to 16 seconds more in the first round. A right misses from Collegius and nice a left misses. Hook. Nice left hook inside by Fennec. Good round for Fennec. Yes, but the danger signs are there. Well, they certainly are, Peter. Right. They this, certainly this, are. This fellow is not... Is, we haven't been telling the very good for this fellow. This fellow is a good puncher. He stood Fennec up in the first minute of that now. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I think Fennec's going to have one hell of a fight in his hands here. Certainly is. It was a good right by Fennec uh, towards the latter stages of the, the round, which is probably the most telling punch of the, the first round. Let's see if we can pick it up here. There it is. It set the Collegius back. But as you said, he bounced straight back at Jeff Fennec. But uh, I'm certainly going to score that round for aggression, for taking it up, and for punches landed 10-9 to Jeff Fennec. Right, there you are, the opening round, and uh, another replay. Nice long right hand by Fennec. Kalei just comes back with a swing left of the body. Uh, Fennec is keeping down low. Uh, a nice uh, right hand caught Fennec on the jaw there, and uh, Fennec ties his man up. Fought with danger the first four rounds of this fight. Uh, Fennec taking the fight up has a slight, slightest welt over his left eye, but uh, Fennec, although hurt marginally in that opening, it is still very much drama positions here as we go in with two sensational punches. Yes, he's like a uh, dormant volcano ready to erupt, isn't he, Victor Collegius? You can see it. He's, uh, he's crouching low and already he's uh, shown that uh, he packs power in his punches. Jeff Fennick, of course, uh, he hasn't won 19 out of 19 for nothing either. He's, uh, he's right on. Good, good, good left. Yeah, good left. Here. Good left by Jeff Fennick. That's a good punch by the Australian. Oh, that's a bit low. That is low. Just there, and uh, oh. he's covering up as Jeff Fennec comes into him. Fennec fighting well in close, yes. very well in close. Oh, good, good right hand as they're coming out of that. Fennec uh, not always going for the head, he relies a lot on body punches. And Fennec has Victor Collegius above our commentary position now, and he's hammering away at the kidneys of Victor Collegius. Collegius almost side on, taking a peekaboo stance there at Jeff Fennec. 
Lages is the one who said he'd be quite happy to turn this into a street corner brawl. And Fennec is taking him at his word. He's going right up to him, taking the fight. And Fennec seems to be putting his stamp on this second round. The, yeah. danger, the danger of the big punch in Pelagius is still there, but Fennec seems to be putting his stamp on Pelagius at this stage. Fennec and Pelagius both working in close. Pelagius sitting on the rope and Fennec hammering away. Not a lot of them scoring. The crowd roaring their support. Pelagius comes back with a left up uppercut, but Fennec in there now to the body and then goes upstairs. Pelagius going underneath Jeff Fennec. That was a... That was a... Oh. Oh, yes. By Victor Kalajas, Jeff Fennick come back and gave him just what he got. This is a real street brawl now. Oh. The boy from Marrickville and the boy from the streets of Puerto Rico. Anything goes. Oh, great left oh, by Fennick. Great left foot. Well, Fennick will give as good as he got. Headbutts, elbows and all. Jeff Fennick knows how to street fight. If Kalajas wants it that way, he can certainly have it with spades. A great left by Fennick. Strong round two by yeah, Jeff Fennick. He's strong. got Kalajas in a in a shade of trouble, but Kalajas standing there trading blows in his own red corner. 20 seconds to go of round two. I think uh, I think the punching power of Fennick and the complete domination of Fennick in the early round starting to tell that Kalajas uh, hanging on there and swinging with the left. I'm really going to reserve judgment on this about the fourth or fifth round because. Fighters can keep this pace up. This is a killing pace. A great round, a great second round for Fennec. But uh, I'm going to reserve judgment until we get to the fourth or fifth round because they can't keep this pace up. And uh, really, the way Fennec is going at it, uh, it's something's got to give. We've seen him before go the entire 12 rounds at that pace. He's the fittest fighter, Ron, that uh, that I think is uh, is anywhere in uh, in any division of uh, of the world today. Richard, Jeff Richard Steele, the referee, has gone over to Phoenix Corner, and I think he'll go over to uh, headbutt replay. Now, here he, it is. Here's the double up. headbutt, and uh, oh, there it was, oh, a bad one too. from Victor Kalajas. Phoenix stayed yeah. down, and obviously that uh, that hurt oh, him. But he came back with uh, just as good as he got. Tip for tap from Jeff Fennick. Good refereeing too by, oh, yes. by the referee who said, right, hey, you gave him one, you give him one back, and uh, that's all clear. What I liked about it was the way that Steele went over and spoke to both of them with a smile. He said they were both guilty. Here they go for the third round, and the drama is building, building, building. We haven't seen anything yet. Oh, well, uh, uh, the, the second in uh, Kalajas' corner was laughing as Kalajas went out. And Victor Kalajas starting like a windmill in the second, in the third round, as he hits Fennec. Fennec knows him with a good left. Well, none of those blows from Kalajas really landed, and Fennec's left right did land. Jeff Fennec certainly uh, not giving any respite for Kalajas. He must think, when is this guy going to stop throwing punches at me? Oh, he looks strong, Jeff Fennec. Kalajas too, crafty and possessing a dynamite punch. Fennec is inside him all the time. Kalajas, with his round armors, is not able to really score with Fennec. Fennec is a straighter puncher and he's walking up and he's stronger. That's the big factor. He is stronger and he's demonstrating that in each round. Those body punches have got to take their toll, Ron Casey. There's another one left of the body and uh, Jeff Fennec working overtime and Victor Kalajas really having a heck of a job nailing Jeff Fennec. But we've got to be wary of that uh, knockout. Dynamite punch that he's got, but it's Jeff Fennec above us now. A left and a right by Fennec. He's uh, all over him. Well, like an Kalajas uh, is in a, in a lot of trouble above us and uh, maybe he's locked in 
but Finnick moving in, he's certainly uh, not marked in the face. There's that left, the big punch from Victor Galagos. One going over the top of Finnick, whistling over his head. Phoenix figured out exactly how to fight this fella. This fellow's around arm and a swinger. He may be a big puncher. Oh. So Phoenix stays inside him all the time, stays right up on his chest, and, and Pelagius just can't handle that. Well, there was a classic case there of Phoenix just swaying away from that left hand, overarm punch, that you said, and Pelagius was off balance, and in came Phoenix with the eye of the tiger right above us now. Oh, Jeff Phoenix really giving it to Pelagius at the moment. This is, uh, this is uh, a dominant round for Fennec. Fennec is doing pretty much as he likes here. Double-handed punches, two lefts, then followed by a right, and they're big punches, they're not just taps. Well, he's taking his toll, and Kalaj is taking a long time to get his hands up. Fennec coming in for the kill. This is a sensational effort by Fennec. Can Jeff Fennec be on the threshold of his third world championship? Only the 11th boxer in world history. He's got him hurt now in the corner. Kalaj just bending over in pain, but he's cocking that left, ready for the knockout punch if he can throw it. 27 seconds to go. Another good round for Jeff Fennec. Outside of that opening minute, Peter, Fennec has not been tagged, and that's really something. It certainly is, and he's... Oh, one, two, what a beautiful one, two. He's take the compulsory eight count. The, the, the count. Oh, there's the bell. He hasn't heard the bell. He hasn't heard the bell. And Jeff Fennick uh, is uh, really moving in. The Marrickville Moore at his best there. Jeffrey Fennick, listen to the fans. And what a mighty round for Jeff Fennick. There, there's something important happened there. Uh, the, the knockdown came before the end of the round. Therefore, they counted until the end of the round. If he hadn't got up, uh, then the fight would have been won by, by Fennec in a knockout. Let's see a replay of that sensational knockdown. There is Kalajis. He looks as though he's OK, but he's in tons of trouble because he hasn't won around. He's and bending Fennec... over in pain from the body punches, Ron. It's and a... here he is bending over. Fennec just using him as a punching bag. Look at that. Right to the kidneys. Then another left body punch. And Fennec really giving it to him. The fans are going berserk here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre in between rounds. But look at the replay of Fennec. Oh, Oh, one, and two. left and right, and a big round to Jeff Fennec, that one. Down went Kalajas, and Fennec gave him one, which he's entitled to do, because he's sitting on the rope, right. and now the referee has moved in. OK, we come out for the fourth round now, and Kalajas on that last round is in deep, deep trouble. Fennec is on the threshold of being truly regarded as one of the greatest fighters in the world today, pound for pound, and perhaps one of the greatest that Australia's ever produced. We're in the fourth round, the action with Peter Peters. Yes, yeah, certainly tremendous effort by Jeff Fennec, and he can keep this pace up. Don't worry about that. There's not a fitter athlete in any sport anywhere in Australia than the dynamic little puncher from Marrickville. As he goes in for the kill now against Victor Kalajas. Kalajas, though, very gallant, throwing punches at Fennec, but now Fennec ties him up in the corner, and there's no respite for Victor Kalajas. The body punching of Fennec is absolutely awesome. And now he's bending over Kalajas. He's hurt again. Fennec has cut off that wind supply. And he's almost out on his feet, Kalajas. He's there to be taken away right now in round four. The body punches, Ron, have taken their toll more than anything. Awesome power of Jeff Fennec. A miss by uh, Victor Kalajas, a swinging right, a left by Fennec. There's no power in Kalajas now as he goes backwards. Fennec all over him. Kalajas must be wondering, what the hell am I in here with? Fennec keeps on walking up, and he's so strong, he's handling Kalajas as though he's a flyaway. He certainly is, and Victor Kalajas, as tough as they come, 20 knockouts in his great career, but he's up against it tonight. Jeff Fennec going through the divisions, and there's a left by Fennec. Kalajas, one minute 27 seconds left of the fourth round. Could it be that this could be the end of Kalajas?
courageous, he's tough and he's courageous, but how much can he take Ron Casey? I don't think he can take too much more because he's actually starting to look for way down. There's a slip. Now, that's what I told you about. It's the water in that corner. You remember? Picked it, in the, you picked it in the prelim and it was the water that, that slipped, but this time Finnick coming in and uh, it's now two knockdowns for Finnick in the opening four rounds of the fight and there's pain written all over the face of the Puerto Rican as Jeff Finnick goes after him again. 50 seconds left, left of round four. Another big round for Jeff Finnick, but he just comes in and Collegius must wonder when Finnick is going to take a breather. But I can tell you, buddy, he doesn't take any. A right by Finnick in close. It's a rain of punches from Finnick. As there's 29 seconds left of the round. Jeffrey Finnick of Australia versus Victor Collegius of Puerto Rico. A left by Finnick. Left underneath by Collegius as he tries to hang on for the final 17 seconds of round four. Tiny kid. Oh, there's the danger punch, that looping left from Collegius then. It caught Fennick, didn't hurt him, but at the same time, that's the danger because Fennick is taking so many risks, Peter, in order to keep pressing the advantage. Yes, and another round for Jeff Fennick, but as you say, that, uh, that left by, by Victor Collegius is the danger punch, and uh, that came late in the round. He's absorbed a lot of punishment, but he's still in there. It's like... a world title fight, and he's still in there, Ron Casey. I'd like to see that left again because while... It was one punch when Fennick scored so many good, so many good punches in the in the round. It, it's wrong to show just one, the one good punch that Collegius uh, scores. But have a look at it because it is indicative of just how this fight could turn. Now see the way it glanced. And yeah, there it was. There that was two, a good punch. There, there were two left hooks there. Yeah, the, the first one, one the brushed the one. point of his chin. The, the f second one uh, caught him on the side of the chin. Now I'm not saying that we should say, "Hey, congratulations, Collegius, you did a great job." Here it, it is again. It, it, ah, good. But by Fennick, yes. and there's a good one by Collegius. Victor Collegius, and that's Collegius' best punch of the fight and, so and, far. And that's the only thing that could stem the tide of this fight as we come out for the fifth round. Well, he's certainly a tough cookie, Victor Collegius. He's been down twice in the fight, but he's oh, still on his no. fight. The second one, you're not going to count no, on no, the slip. He did put a count on him, though. No, it wasn't. No, no. Stop. Hands up, Kenneth. Okay. We've been uh, informed uh, that it was a slip, so one knockdown to Fennick. And, uh, yeah, I'd, like, I'd like to see Fennick settle down, start poking the straight uh, left out, uh, start working on his man. He's taken the steam out of Collegius, for sure. It, it's a winning formula so far, but it's a risky formula. He could walk into one. Now, if Fennick uh, goes with his straighter punching, uh, sets his man up with his great straight left, and starts just to look to, to box for a couple of rounds. Collegius has the reputation of fading after the middle stages of the fight, and perhaps Fennick should be starting to box a little, move around. He's still got the strength, uh, and let him turn the pressure on in the seventh or eighth. I'm sure Johnny Lewis will tell him to slow down if he thinks that uh, he's going to punch himself out. There's no such a uh, uh, message going out from the blue corner of Jeff Fennick at the moment. Uh, Collegius uh, down on, the, on his, uh, on his uh, gloves on the ground there and he shakes his head. He's just wondering uh, uh, what, uh, what this man Fennick is all about. He certainly received plenty in the opening four rounds of the fight. We're in round five, a minute 46 to go and the, and the message goes out for Jeff Fennick to work. Look at the strength of Fennick when he, when he had Collegius and he just spun him around as though he's a flyaway. Fennick has got him in his own corner now. He's in raining punches and uh, he's in Collegius uh, running to get away from Jeff Fennick now. Fennick all over him like an octopus and, uh, and uh, certainly giving no respite to Victor Collegius. Very gallant and still in there and anything can happen in a fight like this where both, both fighters have possessed of a knockout punch. Calling for the uppercut from the Jeff Fennick corner. Not much being said from Victor Collegius's corner. Four rounds, almost five rounds now. Collegius has been on the back pedal. Collegius. So Collegius in a lot of dollars. He's going to hit him one more time. He'll go down. He's got enough time to knock him down. There's 28 seconds left of the round. Collegius.
just almost running away. Almost, and uh, just coming back there with a with a round arm to slow Jeff Fennick up. But another big round for Jeff Fennick as uh, as he mauls now Victor Collegius. Collegius, a very tired fighter now, and Fennick has taken the sting out of him. And uh, we're coming up to the end of round five. Hands up, they're telling uh, Fennick from the corner. Hands up, says Johnny Lewis. Keep your hands up, and I agree. I think uh, Fennick has won every round. There's no, not too much doubt about that. Uh, and I do think that, that Fennick is, is, uh, has got this fight under his control. But it's not the time to be taking chances. And Johnny Lewis agrees. He says, hands up, hands up, keep your hands up. And I think that until uh, uh, Collegius is almost helpless, uh, with a puncher of his ability, I would keep the hands up. just beaten Clay just so far, he has broken his spirit. And that's very important. He's not, there's Finnick running across the ring. There's the bell still ringing. And the second wasn't even out of the ring for Collegius. No, Finnick. He's very slow to get out, but I mean, that's he hasn't fair. got all night. Finnick came at him and Collegius uh, uh, looked up and saw the Marrickville Mauler almost on him. Finnick ran at him to get to him and Collegius can't even get five seconds to spare at the start of every round. No respite from Jeff Fennick. No rest when you're fighting Fennick. And he's on his bike now, Victor Collegius, trying to get, uh, trying to get uh, back in his equilibrium. And now uh, he's dancing on the back foot, Fennick pursuing him like a panther after his prey. <laughs> Round six of this World Boxing Council Championship bout. And there's defeat written in those eyes. He's thinking to himself, I'm sure, what the hell am I going to do with this tiger? Yeah, he, he just keeps coming after him. He's clocking the big one, ready to throw it. And, uh, oh, a good punch by Fennec. That goes the head of Collegius. And uh, once more, he's caught in a neutral corner on the ropes. And uh, Jeff Fennec raining blows on him. And as I keep repeating, there is no rest, no respite, no place to hide when you're, fi you're fighting a man like Jeff Fennec. Big one. One minute, 28 seconds of round six to go. And uh, Finnick not as dominant in this round. Maybe this is the spell round, yeah. uh, Ron Casey, that uh, he's got to have some time because of the pace that he's gone out at the start of this fight. Collegius is tying up Finnick's left arm. Uh, Collegius' is right arm locking Phoenix away like that, trying desperately to a breather. See how wild Collegius has become? Yes, he has. He's, he's probably not popped as much as he has in recent rounds, but by the same token, he hasn't, he hasn't landed all that many scoring punches in this round. He's just covering up. He's trying to stay away from Jeff Fennick. The problem is Fennick is so much stronger than that, that's, that's the problem. Well, he's in there at probably 9, 6, 9, 7 tonight, Ron, after weighing in right on the 9 stand limit today. Well, Collegius would be 9-4 anyhow. Yeah, but uh, uh, the upper body of Jeff Fennec certainly yes. rippling with muscles. I'm not saying that Collegius is not, uh, but uh, Fennec, very spindly legs and a tremendously built torso. He's getting bigger every fight. And better and stronger. 22 seconds left of round six. Another good round for Fennec. Probably not as dominant as he was in the opening five rounds of the fight. I think he's not having all together the spell, but this is an easier round. He's fought more at distance in this round. He hasn't crowded Collegius as he did in the first five. Now, he's given Collegius some, uh, a little bit of room, not much, and uh, not much uh, respite. And another round. 
Mamba, I think, with Jeff Lennox, but uh, Kaleidas, and you can see the trainer of Kaleidas bouncing into the ring to pick up uh, Kaleidas and get him in the corner. It's a shame he doesn't get out as quick because uh, he's certainly very slow to get out of the ring, and well, Fennec hit him uh, in that last round uh, uh, almost before uh, Kaleidas' second got out of the ring. Well, good business. If, uh, if the second is uh, still in the ring, the bell is rung, the fighter's not standing on his feet ready to go, that's the fighter's problem. Okay, He's look at this. The this, is, uh, this is the previous round. Look at the still in there. And uh, <laughs> incredible. Fennec was there, threw some punches, and Kaleidas looked up and said, oh, will you please leave me alone? All right, that was the start of the previous round. Let's see what the tactic Fennec comes up with in this one. We're going into the seventh round. Uh, this round will take us past the halfway mark. Now, Fennec standing up. Yeah, the, the, again. Kaleidas, the second, is still in the ring there. And, and now, now he's standing up, ready for fight. Yeah, he's got to get him out quicker. He's got to get him out. The referee, Richard sure. Steele, has got to get that slow second who keeps chewing a match out of the uh, out of the ring quicker. He's soaking up time. Jeff Fennec after Victor Collet just now, and we are in round seven. Never, ever on the front foot in this fight so far, Victor Collet. And Fennec, is it going to be lucky seven? Round seven for Jeff Fennec. Jeff Fennec stalking his man again. And Ron Casey, just there has been no rest for Kalajas. No time at the fight when he's been able to take it to Fennec. No, no not at any stage. I think after the first round, Kalajas realised how much physically stronger Fennec was, or is. And, uh, of course, Fennec is also uh, just as good a puncher. And the round arm actions of Kalajas, uh, Fennec's able to work inside of him all the time. I think the most significant part of the fight was when the headbutting started and Kalajas thought, well, I'll show you how they fight in the back streets of uh, Puerto Rico. One of the tough the cities in the world where uh, cockfighting is a great sport and uh, certainly uh, they're tough and they've got to fight for your dinner and Jeff Fennec has come out of the streets of Marrickville one of the toughest areas inner city areas of Sydney and he can fight like a street fighter with the best of them and I think that shocked Pelagius and that might have been the moral uh, ascendancy that Jeff Fennec was seeking in this fight got to give it a Kalajas, he's tough, he's accepted more than most fighters would in any fight, let alone a world championship. He's not going to fall without a, a heck of a battle here. Round seven now, Jeff Fennec has thrown everything bar the Opera House at, uh, at the Puerto Rican, and he's still throwing them, and he's got that bad habit, Victor Kalajas, of bending his head, and when he straightens up, Fennec straightens him up, and he's done it again. Beautiful three or four lefts, hook straight, left hook again, beautiful punches. It's a bad habit uh, Ronnie's got when he bends over, asks the referee to step in, and Fennec is on him uh, in a flash. <laughs> 42 seconds left of round seven. Victor Kalajas still copping a hammering from Jeff Fennec, but he's still throwing them. He's going for the uppercut now with a left left. Uppercut left from uh, Kalajas, now a right, now a left, but both missing, and Jeff Fennec mauls him again in close. Remind viewers all over Australia, this is a 12 round world title fight, 12 rounds. A right by Fennec, a good right by Jeff Fennec there. Did you see Kalei just uh, try another butt? Well, Fennec came in with a forearm job then to even it up. Yeah, he certainly did. A good left by Fennec, and he may not have enough time. Oh, there's another a butt, butt by Fennec, and uh, both fighters there, buddy. Now, he's, he's showing very clearly, he's showing very clearly that if uh, Kalei just wants to turn on the butting, that he'll be the one that finishes it. And Fennec there's comes the elbow back. from Jeff Fennec, and, uh, and, uh, and Fennec never giving him a moment. Down goes the head again, and that's dangerous, because there's... a beautiful left by Fennec, and another left, and another one by Jeff Fennec in, uh, in the neutral corner, and there goes there's Fennec the with a head butt. Oh boy, Jeff Fennec, no respite at all. And there's the warning from referee Richard Steele. He's got a base. Them. He's gone to both of them and he's telling them no more butting because uh, this fight could be spoiled uh, by, uh, by head butting because it could well open up 
uh, one of the eyes of the contestants. This headbutting continues, and it, uh, it could affect the result when uh, it is so much Phoenix fight right to this day. Out of the ring, the steel is telling the second of Collegius, and now Collegius is coming out, blinking his eyes as though he had something in his eyes that was stinging. In the eighth round. Victor Collegius just changing the tempo of the fight a little bit. Jabbing out that left, getting on the bike and pushing out the left of Jeff Fennick. A good left and a right by Victor Collegius. He pumps it out, a good left there by Collegius. This has been the best start for Victor Collegius in the fight so far, Ron Casey, round eight. Yes, it is. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if they uh, call a truce with each other on the headbutting business because, uh, as I say, it's a big danger in this fight. And if they start being Billy Goats, out and out Billy Goats, Steele might well... Well, anything could happen. Watch it. Okay. Oh, Fennec, a left there. And down uh, goes a, slip. a slippy save. Yep. Oh, oh, no, no, he's knocked down. Out on him and knocked down by Jeff Fennec in the eighth round. He's complaining that he slipped over, but he's put an eight count on him. It's under that water in Fennec's corner. Mark you again. Yes, it was, but uh, Jeff knocked down that one. Yep. And that's point scoring for Jeff Fennec again in round eight. So two clean knockdowns for Jeff Fennec in the fight so far as he moves into eight. Round eight, and certainly well on top. Collegius now on the back pedal. He's in real trouble. Fennec there. What the hell he wants to hit him, but he decides against it. He had his head in his left arm. He wanted to hit him with his right. There's the uh, uh, the elbow from Fennec. Straightened it to Collegius up. He's got him in the neutral corner again and dealing out the punishment to Collegius in round eight. One minute 32 of round eight to go in this World Boxing Council Federation Championship of the World here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Calais just doing everything possible to just stay away from those lefts and rights of Fennec now. Pelagius is fighting to survive. That's all he's doing. There's the head ducked again. It's, it's a silly, it's a silly trade he's got because Fennec comes at him and hits him with a couple in his own corner. And he's got Pelagius again in his corner. And those ribs and kidney area of Victor Pelagius must be feeling like they've been put through a mincer. He feels as though at this moment he's run over by a, a steamroller. Yes. Oh, great punches by Fennec. Four punches. He now throws him around. Oh, no. 41 seconds of the round to go. That throwing him down, then all it did was to give Collegius a chance to recover and to see the round out. But he's, he's hurt, hurt, Jeff. He's hurt. Oh, he's in terrible trouble. He's hurt. Fennec has got him. Uh, and uh, there's a left by Collegius and a right swinging. A left makes its mark. It slows Fennec up a bit. 18 Fennec seconds. Weaves back. And uh, 18 seconds to go of round eight. Jeff Fennec pounding Victor Collegius. And he'd like to think that he was back home in Puerto Rico on the beach there at the moment. The head goes down. Oh, great uppercut. And there's the problem for Collegius. And there's only seconds left of the round. Can he see it out? Yes, he will. Another great round of Jeff Fennec in round eight. And Ron Casey, he has won every round convincingly. and he is gone. Here Let's we go are. the replay of it. The final moments. Here's the medical officer having a look at Collegius. There's the knockdown, which uh, you thought was a slip, but no. uh, Fennec uh, after him and uh, certainly giving him plenty there. Now, the, the drama is that over on the right-hand side of your screen, the doctor has been there having a look at Collegius. He said he can continue. We're still in replay. The bell's about to go. Let's get back to the fight because the drama is on. The second of Collegius won't get out of the ring. Now, the bell's about to ring, and here's Fennec going into the ninth round, and this could be the knockout round. Well, Jeff Fennec coming after Victor Collegius now. Round nine, Collegius uh, looking down at the ring. He's uh, worried about a bit of water over oh, there. Yes. Oh, he's going to be going now. Jeff Fennec has him in the neutral corner. And here comes the Merrick Bill Mauler, the bomber from Australia. Jeff Fennec all over Victor Collegius. And Collegius, the pain now starting to show in his face. Can he uh, deliver uh, one of those special punches to Fennec? He tried to yes, there. A right coming in. 
Jeff Finnecke all over Kalaitis. Kalaitis hanging on for dear life. I think Kalaitis is too weak to really turn the tide now. That's obvious. It's just a matter of if Fenny can knock him out. It's not a matter of if Fenny can win. Oh, there's, a, there's a, the knees buckling again of Victor Kalaitis. Fenwick comes after him, and there's plenty of time in this round to go for Jeff Fenwick. There's no respite from Fenwick. In close and at length, he's the master, and uh, very much the pupil, Victor Kalaitis from Puerto Rico. And Fenwick, and he's just giving Victor Kalaitis uh, one of uh, uh, his worst hammerings. He's sitting on the rope now, and if that head ducks again, you can be sure that Fenwick will straighten him up. One minute 47 now of round nine remaining of this World Boxing Council featherweight championship of the world. Can't quite pick it, but I think there may be a cut over uh, Kalajis' right eye. I'm, I can't quite see it. It's inside under the eyebrow, but I think there might be a cut there. OK, so Victor Kalajis just trying to tie Jeff Fennec up. But Fennec raining blows on him, not as uh, uh, not yes. with as much ease. Yes, yes. there's a cut eye, and Kalajis almost out on his feet. Gallant, you've got to admire the courage of the man. Yeah. He's got plenty for almost nine rounds now, but he's still throwing them. There's a left, more out of uh, hope than anything else, and Fennec comes back at him. This is one of Jeff Fennec's greatest performances, Ron Case. Oh, by side, by side. I mean, we've got to give uh, Fennec credit for being an all-time great now. Uh, too often we've said his opponents have been up to scratch. This is a superb performance. I'm sure that our close circuit audience will agree with that. What a treat for them. They're getting it exclusively around Australia and you're seeing one of the greatest fighters Australia has produced, if not the greatest, pound for pound. Here's an absolute dynamo. What a record he's got. He's going for 20 straight tonight. His third world title, Kalajis, gamely hanging on, but Fennec all over him like an octopus. You'd think he's got a, uh, a myriad of arms, not just two. He keeps throwing them. They're both missing uh, quite a bit now. This is a, a round in which they've uh, both shown how tired they are. Of course, Fennec is still the, by far the stronger of the two, but they're both missing quite a bit now. Yeah, they certainly are at the, the second in the corner of Delay. Just can't wait to get in. And oh, oh great yes. left by Fennec. He's got him on the move again. It seems to happen at this stage in every round. A great left by Jeff Fennec. He's looking at referee Richard Steele, sucking in the oxygen is Jeff. He has a nose problem and a breathing problem, but uh, he's certainly all over the, uh, the Puerto Rican here tonight. And in comes the, uh, the second for Victor Kalajas. Round nine and uh, another round to Jeff Fennec. Can Fennec knock him out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Here's the big left at the end from Fennec. This is the one that did the damage late in the round. Oh, oh what one. a great punch. Yeah, great punch. If, right that, if, if, if he'd nail him on the whisker like that in the first minute, who knows? Most certainly round 10 coming up. Richard Steele, the referee, and isn't he a competent referee? Yes, He's excellent. Just, you can understand why. This is his 44th world title fight tonight uh, for the referee from the United States, uh, from Las Vegas, uh, the home of boxing in the United uh, States. The second is still in. Kalajas is still in. He's uh, telling him to get out. That's and terrible. Kalajas getting on. Oh, and immediately hanging on. Jeff Fennec will try and line him up early in this round. And uh, I was mentioning at the end of last round that Jeff's got a nose problem and his breathing suffers during uh, every fight. But uh, I don't think anything hurts him. You couldn't hurt him with a bit of 4v2. And uh, I'm certain that the 4v2 isn't in the punching power of Victor Kalajas. He's had most of the sting taken out of him, but you never can tell in boxing. It's a strange game. And there have been plenty of knockout uh, knockouts in final rounds. Oh, that's the punch that'll start the lot. A big leg top from Fennec. Fennec is trying to wrestle his man around now. He's going to be right on top because he's got plenty of time left in this 10th round. His knees are gone, Kalajas. He's, uh, uh, his movement and his legs. Another left by Fennec. He's just looking. Oh, a great body punch by Fennec. And that would have hurt Kalajas at this stage of the fight. Round 10 we're into. Kalajas just trying to stay away from the ever onward assault of Jeff Fennec. Kalajas' left eye is puffed up. I think he's got a cut somewhere over that right. 
and uh, his face is looking like well the old pack of poo ticket. It certainly is, and uh, Jeff Finnick and Victor oh, Gallagher. Yes. Good left by Jeff Finnick, and uh, he's again into Victor Gallagher. Up against the ropes, there's the body punch. That goes up. Uh, it's all over. It's all over. It can be said the referee, and in this case Richard Steele, shouldn't have stopped the fight. But Collegius was in danger of being seriously hurt. He was staggered. He was gone. He had a glazed look in his eyes. And it, here it is, the final punch of the fight. It is set up in this uh, neutral corner. And here's Fennick in the finishing blows as we wait for Peter Peters to get up to talk to Jeff Fennick after winning his third world title and historic night tonight here at the Entertainment Centre. Here's Fennick setting up the punch. There it is, just a left onto the ear. Uh, Fennick is looking as the ring announcer makes the decision. We'll stay with the replay just for another minute. And here it is. Fennick as Collagius moves away. And Collagius is there. You can see Collagius has no coordination. Richard yeah. Steele stepped Fennick. between the two and a swordsman of punishment by Collegius. And so Jeff Fennick is the WBC featherweight champion of the world. And up at the centre of ring is the Peter 11th, Peters. Only the 11th boxer in history to have won three divisional championships. He is the third youngest to acquire that distinction, but the only boxer to have achieved three world championships in such a brief career of 20 bouts. Jeff Fennick. Peter Peters is there and he's about to talk to Jeff Fennick. Jeff Fennick, to the fans around Australia, through the satellite services provided by Bill Morty, how do you feel? Peter, I'm the happiest I've ever been for my mum, my girlfriend, my trainer Johnny Lewis, the greatest bloke in the world. I'm so happy to have my dad here. And I just want to tell you all something. Uh, Jeff Fennick never takes any shortcuts, but for the last month I've had a broken hand. I haven't even told my trainer Johnny Lewis. And tonight, if you watch the fight closely, I'm the first person in Australia to win three world titles with one hand. Jeff, tell us more about the broken hand. When did it happen? You know, I've been seeing Mike Cryer at practice for a month, and I suppose he's a great friend of mine, and I, I asked him to promise me that he wouldn't tell Johnny about my hand. The last couple of days, I've trained in immense pain just so I could get here today and do what I've done, do you all proud. And when they say, I do love you, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for coming to watch me today. Thank you. There's Jeff Fennick's dad with him. And what a great victory by Jeffrey Fennick. The referee, of course, tonight. Richard, a great performance by Jeff Fennick. No respite for a very gallant fighter in Victor Collegius. Well, Victor is a uh, champion now, and he proved it to the world that he is in the caliber of champions. He's a great fighter, he's a busy fighter, and the people will get their money. You've had 44 world title fights. That's a great record for a referee. And how do you rate our own Jeff Fennick? Well, Jeff, I rate him right up to with the top of all of the great fights I have done. This was a great fight, and I appreciate you having me here in Argentina. Carl King, the son of the world's greatest boxing promoter, the great Don King. Carl, Jeff Fennick uh, has had all of his fights in Australia. Would he be a sensation in the United States? What a champion. Anytime he likes. Jeff Fennick is a great champion, and we, we look forward to having him in the States, and I look forward to coming back to Sydney. Carl King, and back to Ron Casey at ringside. Let's have a look at the final punches of this sensational 10th round TKO, if you like to call it. In my book, it was a 10th round knockout win to Jeff Fennick. Just watch this last round. Collegius couldn't have gone any further, and here we are in what turned out to be the last seconds of the fight. 
Now, Sphenic's strength was still the dominant feature, and Collegius was buckling badly at this stage. As I called earlier in the eighth and the ninth round, his eyes were glazed, his face, well, it was Look a Look at that mask. body punch, Ron, that doubled him up. That's it. And, and Collegius had no answer, no strength left, and there's the looping left. Collegius wobbles on his feet, to his eternal credit, Richard Steele saw how glassy-eyed Collegius' eyes were. Great referee. And he stepped and between the two. look at Jeffrey Fennick. He look stepped between the them, and that was the end of the fight. It is about 1 minute 24 or thereabouts of the 10th round, and Jeff Fennick has won his third world title. What a courageous, what a courageous opponent, Collegius, but Hello, certainly not able to stand the tremendous strength and the tenacity of the man and now the overhead shot, you'll see the punch that did the damage. Watch it. There it is, the left. And Collegius was right on the edge of end of it. And Collegius staggers back. Obviously nothing left, Peter. No, certainly none. And great refereeing, I repeat. He's had 44 World Championship fights. He came in and he yeah. stopped it at the right time. And uh, that was the end of the fight. And Jeff Fennec has, uh, has become only the 11th boxer in world history to win three separate world titles. A marvellous effort, Case. And yeah. uh, it was a pleasure calling the fight because our fellow wasn't in any danger throughout. OK, there it is. Until the next time, Central Lime and uh, Bill Morty Promotions come together for a closed circuit television coverage of a world championship fight, no doubt featuring Jeff Fennick. It's my pleasure on behalf of my old mate here, Peter Peters. My name is Ron Casey. Until you good boxing fans, true boxing fans all around Australia can join us again, I wish you good night. Cracks and bubbly for Jeffrey Fennick, a great Australian champion. I'm going to. <laughs>
in Governor Mobile Fortress of Town Precinct Huey, confronting history. Yes, Freddie. Career. 15 years, he has officiated in 43 World Championships from Las Vegas, the United States of America, Richard Steele. Now we come to the Rich drama of the evening. From Tijuana, Mexico, Raymond Salas. From Milan, Italy, Giuseppe Ferrari. He needed to give him a lot of respect. Yes, certainly, and uh, Collegius, a tough customer, I think we're Oh, and look at the look in Fennec's eyes. Fennec is fighting mad. That left hook certainly shook him up. Don't be deluded. Yeah, you can always see the eye of the tiger in Jeff Fennec, but he's in against the customer tonight that uh, uh, that is a real tough customer. He looks like a panther waiting to strike, and that left is the punch. See the way Fennec's carrying that right foot very high, higher than usual. No, landed, obviously. No, not a punch that ended there, and very cool Victor Collegius. That set him back a little bit. Jeff, obviously, uh, wanting to assume control early in the fight, as he always does. He loves to take the fight up. And uh, now the referee just warns him about coming in uh, too powerfully there with his legs, also with his arms. And he's still taking the fight up to Collegius. And that's the beauty of Fennec. He never gives them a moment's peace. But uh, this fellow can fight. We've already seen that. Oh, good left hook by Fennec. Pelagius is a fighter, though. He wants to uh, yeah. to trade punches in close there with Fennec, and in close is where he can do a lot of damage. <laughs> it can never be a rest for Jeff in these early rounds, Ron. He can't drop those gloves. Oh, right. Right. came back, even though he had his back to the ropes, to the fair left of the duel, I think. And there's no respite for Victor Collegius, and uh, we're coming up to 16 seconds more in the first round. A right misses oh, from Collegius, nice and a left, left misses. Hook. Nice left hook inside by Finney. Well, there he is, the little champion, ready for the toughest fight of his career. And Ron Casey, we've uh, seen both bo boxes stripped while the national anthem was on. And uh, he's a very compact-looking customer, Victor Collegius. And Bill promotions. The roof will come off here. In their initial venture. The Central Line International Encounter, scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds for the latest World Boxing Council Featherweight Championship of the World between from the red corner, scaling 57.15 kilograms from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Three times his country's national amateur champion. He represented internationally on numerous occasions. As a professional, he has boxed 24 times, being successful on 23 occasions, 20 times by knockout, 18 inside four rounds. In May of 1984, he became the World Boxing Association World Super Bantamweight Champion, Vibrant Virtuoso of Exquisite Potency, Thundering Missile, Victor Calvary. From New York, the United States of America, Harold Letterman. 
Well, one of the judges, Giuseppe Ferrari, sitting right next to Ron Casey at ringside. You sleep at both people, but he's uh, scoring, Case. I'll try, Peter. Now we come to the dra dramatic part of the evening. Look at that capacity house on the screen now at the Entertainment Centre. The danger for Fennec is the opening round. That is the consensus of international boxing opinion and the boxing uh, judges that I've spoken to today after the weigh-in. They say that if Fennec can get through the first four rounds, his chances of winning are extremely good. They say that without even seeing Fennec. But such a dynamite puncher as Kalaja, he is the big danger in especially the opening round. Now, folks, you're coming up to a very dramatic three rounds. Here comes the bell. Here's the bell, and uh, Kalajas from San Juan in Puerto Rico, where you have to be tough just to survive. The left is the punch that uh, Kalajas has had a lot of success with. It's the punch that uh, really put away Laura Stecker, took him out of their World Championship bout in the sixth round. That punch from Casey actually got Stecker off the ground, off the canvas. Vogue is doing two places on the way down. The thing that I've noticed already and I, I have seen in uh, Kalajas' uh, videotapes is that he's more of a round arm puncher. Fennec is the straighter punch in the two. Uh -huh. A left hook, and that's, that one should send up just a little bit. He comes back, Kalei just does with another left hook. Fennec's back against the ropes. That, that stunned Fennec a little. Yeah, it certainly did. 